So I've got a message for you today, uh, speaking from my heart about the hexagon and the pentagon merger, so beautifully illustrated here. So the pentagon in ancient esoteric symbolism stands for the microcosm, the five-sided, the microcosm, and the six-sided pentagon speaks to the macrocosm. Okay. So that line, all of the lines, the five on the pentagon, the six on the hexagon, are all exactly the same length. And so that joined side is where they connect. The merger of the macrocosm and the microcosm, the hexagon and the pentagon. Okay, so finding that takes work. Finding that geometric construction takes work. So one thing that's nice about Robert Edward Grant's Instagram page, and uh, I recommend you all follow that, uh, is that he uses Instagram for what the name says, Instagram. He makes a at chronological time recording of his growth and therefore his in discoveries. Uh, and so this he posted, this particular drawing in the 5-6 he posted, I don't know, like over a year ago. And, and it's very imperfect. I mean, it's very nice looking. You know, it, it would pass inspection for me, but as I've learned to observe these things, it's, it's missing be closing, as he says. It doesn't have a closure right there. The point of the Pentagon doesn't touch the bounding circle, okay? So I experimented with this uh, back in uh, Panama about a, a year or two ago. So this is a drawing I did trying to do the the hexagon pentagon merger uh, and I asked uh, Will Wire who you should also follow a great graphics artist from uh, Colorado I asked him to help me this is some of our work in trying to you know find how you do the merger of the hexagon and the the uh, the, the, the pentagon so here's the solution so I asked Robert about this about that first drawing he said he'd work on it you know, he called me an hour later, I can't get it. I don't think it's going to close. But then he worked harder at it, and so he solved it. He used the flower of life construction. And so here was his initial solving of the hexagon and pentagon, at least in terms of drawing it, okay? So from that, we get to this, okay? So you, so you can see in the original, it didn't close on the hexagon. It does on the solution, okay? And the same thing with the point of the pentagon. Okay, so there's growth. You can see Robert now doesn't need the flower of life. He draws it another way. You can see the, the growth that he's exhibited in this. Okay, so in my journey, I showed you, I started with this drawing in Panama. And so I am not intuitive like Robert. I, I got a book, Ruler and Compass, and I begin making some uh, practical, you know, construction so that I can draw the, the, the hexagon, pentagon merger. Um, so, you know, Nala Bursi, another channel you should follow on... Uh, uh, YouTube is Nala Bursi's Sacred Geometry Decoded channel. Uh, he's an expert. He, he, he drew this for me when I had first thought that the, uh, this, this merger defined Khafre's pyramid. Well, Nala showed me that 54 degrees, which I thought was Khafre's pyramid, his pyramid's really 53.1. So he did this drawing to help me. He's obviously very talented. I showed you that, that Robert has advanced in, in his work, and so much so uh, that here's like one of Robert's most recent hexagon, pentagon, flower of life drawings. It's like intense, okay? So we can grow in these things, the five and the six, right? Yeah, okay. So my hunch about uh, about this construction was that it would have something to do with the Great Pyramid. Uh, since the five and the six are the macro and the micro, and the, the Great Pyramid seems to be in working in that realm. Heaven and Earth, five and six, you know, the, the macrocosm and the microcosm, it's the merger of Heaven and Earth, and the Great Pyramid certainly seems to have to do with those two, you know, dimensions, and the meaning of life. And uh, I've studied the Great Pyramid for decades, believing it's got the meaning of life. And so since the Great Pyramid is about the meaning of life, there might be a connection between this. That has always been a hunch of mine. So here's David Davidson's uh, cross-section of the Great Pyramid looking from the east. And so the dark black line there is basically the line of the passages, 
all the passages, the first ascending passage, you know, the grand gallery, the antechamber going into the king's chamber, they're all in that line. They're off center. You can see they're offset from the center. Okay, so my thought was, okay, I'll, I'll take the, the merger of the hexagon pentagon and I'll overlay it and I'll see how it lines up. And when you do, bingo, look at this. The joined surface of the macrocosm and the microcosm, the pentagon and the hexagon, which symbolizes the merger of heaven and earth, is right exactly on that passage line. Like, that's incredible. That's incredible. Okay, so just looking at it again, here's the, uh, the offset original entrance line of the Great Pyramid looking east again. This is the center line that goes interestingly uh, through the queen, right through the center of the queen's chamber. Um, and of course there's the base. So I highlighted the, the pyramid there and then you put the flower of life construction of the hexagon pentagon merger. And again, exactly it defines the center and the offset. Okay, great. What's the meaning? And here's the Here's the finale of this little presentation, okay? We saw that drawing the 5-6 takes growth, even being interested in it. You know, some people probably think, what are you talking about? So there's a growth process that's involved here. The 5-6, the merger of the 5-6, once you do grasp it, it can draw it, it defines the geometry, the offset geometry of the original entrance to the Great Pyramid. It's offset. And the 5-6, the merger of the pentagon and the hexagon, defines it. There is Al Mamun's chopped-in intruder entrance, which is put right in the center of the pyramid. And there is the center, right through the chevrons, of the original entrance to the Great Pyramid. It is offset. It is offset. What does that mean about this seeking the spiritual growth that the Great Pyramid and sacred geometry calls us to? It's saying simply this, I hear so often, well, we're gods, you know, we're gods, we, we can do what we want, you know, we're people, if you start there, you're entering the intruder's door. Yes, the human being is capable of great things. The human being is also filled with pride, warfare, anger, look at our planet, disease, pollution, ecological disaster, warfare, cancer, COVID, humans, are also very fallen. So my friends, let's take our marching orders from the merger of the five, six, the Great Pyramid when we enter, when we enter. Let's enter recognizing who we are. So we can.